Here I'm going to show you how to access the textbook website from home as well as the workbook pages in case you forget your workbook at school um, or you're somewhere traveling and you need your workbook to do the activities that have been assigned for homework for whatever reason. Um, or if you just want to practice different activities from the workbook at home on your own. So first you open up your browser. Um, I choose to use Google Chrome. Um, I know it also works in Internet Explorer. Um, you'll go to my.hrw.com. Remember, you can also find this website um, on Blackboard if you don't remember what the link is. Once you get there, you log in using the, oh, I'm already logged in, but you'll log in using the unique username and password that was given to you at the beginning of the year. And when you log in, again, if you're in Spanish 2, you're going to see these two textbooks. You're going to see the one first, Avancemos Uno, which is at the top, the orange one, and Avancemos Dos. If you are in Spanish 3, then you'll see all three of these. Um, let's just go into the ones for Avancemos Dos. You'll click on Go to the Online Textbook. Again, you must know what chapter, what unit, um, and lesson we are in at the moment in order to access the activities um, and resources for the proper uh, topic. Okay, so first let's just say that we're in Unidad Uno, Lección Uno. So see how there's three different options for Unidad Uno. We want to go on down to Unidad Uno, Lección Uno. If we were in Lección Dos, then we click on the Lección Dos. Okay, so once you click there, don't worry about selecting anything in this menu. That's not necessary. That's just to take you to certain pages um, in, in the, the textbook. So let's say I wanted to go to the vocabulary pages. Then I would click there, and it's going to show me right here the vocabulary pages. If I wanted to see the grammar, then I would go to the Grammatica, click go, and then it takes me to the pages where the Grammatica for this unit starts and the practice. If we're finishing the unit and you want to go into the review practices, then you click on end resumen and it takes you to the, um, the end of chapter. The vocabulary list is the end resumen. And then the next page, the repaso de la lección which is the next option in the menu bar. Um, what we want to find here is we want to find the workbook pages. So you're going to click all the way on the premium tab. And then here where it says unar uno a conocer nuevos lugares, cuaderno, práctica por niveles. If you want the workbook pages for unidad uno, lección uno, you have to click the plus sign for the drop down options here. Now remember that we have um, vocabulario A, B, y C, as well as gramática A, B, y C. There's also two sections of gramática. Um, there's a speaking practice, the integración, hablar, integración, escribir, and then the listening activities, escuchar, A, B, y C, leer, the reading, escribir, writing, and cultura, uh, the culture practices. Each of these sections, there's three pages. Um, except for the integración, which are just one. So you see vocabulario página uno a tres. The A is going to be your página, your page one. B is page two. And C would be page three. You click on the letter, and then it opens up a, a second and a new window. Again, you must have pop-up windows allowed in order for these pages to come up. If you don't, then you need to change the settings on your internet, on the Internet Explorer or the Chrome, whatever you're using. If you don't know how to do that, either ask your parents or Google how to allow pop-up windows, and then you'll find all types of resources to help you um, change those settings for your browser. Okay, when you are doing this for homework and a workbook page has been assigned, you must handwrite the activities. If you don't have the physical workbook page and you cannot print out the pages that are accessible on Blackboard or Google Classroom um, at home, then you must handwrite the instructions, you must handwrite the sentence, and then you must write your answer with the sentence. You must write the two options that are printed there on the page and then the one that you've chosen. Okay? Um, you can check your answers from for the workbook page to see if you get them right for, for most of these sections. Um, so for example, voy de vacaciones y primero necesito confirmar el vuelo o pasar por seguridad. Um, let's click confirmar el vuelo. Número dos, voy a Dallas y luego vuelvo a Miami. Necesito un boleto 
de ida y vuelta o de ida. Well, here it looks like I'm going to be going somewhere and returning home to Miami. So I need a round trip flight. Once you select your answers, you could click check all to see how you did in that section. Okay. Um, but again, if you're using these pages online in for your homework that has been assigned, you're going to have to turn in a hard copy. You may not, if you can print this page and fill in the answers that way, that works too. Um, but the PDF form of all workbook pages are available to you on Blackboard or Google Classroom under the corresponding section. Okay, if you do not have a working printer and you cannot access a printer at a library or in the computer, uh, the school before the date that this is due, you must handwrite the entire page that includes the instructions, the word bank and each sentence along with your answer. Okay, any assignments that are done on notebook paper or that are handwritten and do not include all of these items and instead have only the answers will not be accepted for credit. Okay, so this is how you access the, the workbook pages from the website. If ever at any time you have any issues, send me an email. Good luck.